Okay, so let's continue our camera capture application. First go to build.gradle settings and insert Wally's network library dependency so that we can easily make requests. Then go to the app manifest file and also insert these three permissions internet, camera and external storage. In my main activities layout file I placed a simple button. Nothing special there. Ok, go to main activity and declare variables that we need. Button, then two strings, encoded string that will hold encrypted base64 format and our image name then a bitmap that we will use to convert to the base64 format. Next what we need is file and URI of that file. When we take picture with camera we need to reference file using URI so that we can load content of the image into the bitmap. Okay, in onCreate method reference the button and set on click listener for it. In order to start the camera we need to use a intent called image capture. So type in intent i equals new intent and choose media store dot action image capture. Now we need to create a file that will point to the location where the image will be saved on the phone. From that file URI can be extracted. So let's create a method called getFileURI. Here we create a new file. To reference the SD card we use environment.getExternalStoragePath directory and inside of it we choose a picture folder. Then type plus file.separator Separator is just a basic back backslash so that we make a reference to the file that will be inside the pictures directory. Then plus string our image, so image name. Let's just initialize here our image name. I'll type simply testing123. It would be better if you type something unique like a date when the picture is taken or something similar. But this is only for testing so we keep it as simple as possible. Now to get the actual URI from the image just call method URI.fromFile and pass it the file as an argument. Alright. To store the image on the phone we will pass additional parameters to the intent. So type in i.put extra media store.extra output and our file URI variable. Then call method named start activity for a result. Okay, so second parameter is request code or identification number for this intent as you wish. You can type in any number. I'll type 10. Okay, so now uh, when the image is taken we can get result from this action in the function named on activity result. So implement that method. Inside of it we check if our request code equals to 10 and if the result code that intent returns is equal to result underscore ok that means the image has been captured and saved on the phone. That's great. Now we have the image saved into the phone. Next step is to encode the image using the base64 encoder we'll do that in async task so that we don't block the main thread. So create a new encode image async task implement this doing background method ok 
first we initialize the bitmap using the bitmap factory dot decode file method to get the path to the image we simply call our URI of the image and use method get path then create a new instance of the class called byte array output stream it will allow converting image to the byte array next step is to compress the bitmap using the compress method so inside of this method we have three parameters format we, it is a format for the picture we will choose JPEG then the quality of the image its range is from 0 to 100 0 being lowest quality and 100 being highest quality and the third parameter is stream okay so to actually convert this stream to the byte array create a new byte array and type stream dot to byte array function then in order to convert this array to base64 format just type base64 dot encode to string that's it at this point our image is converted to the base64 format and stored into the string what we need to do next is to make a network request and send our image to the web server okay so implement on post execute method and inside of it we will call method named make request let's create this method network request is done by using volley library so create a new request queue of course then create a new string request a method is post of course then for the URL paste your URL where the PHP file is located and implement these two listeners also implement the get params method in this method we will make a post request and send our encoded image through the body of the request then create a new hash map and type map.put as a key type encoded string and for the value choose our encoded string variable then same for the image name okay return this map and for the end simply add this request to the volley's request queue that's done so now let's test this click on take picture so now we simply take a picture okay let's check out the images folder on our web server and as you can see the image has been uploaded to the server also it path should be saved into the database let's check that out also yep it is thanks for watching guys see you next time bye